Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and uh, I'm gonna give this style of video another shot and see how it goes. Um, I wanted to do an update on how things are going with my Quiet Carry Waypoint. Um, this knife is so exciting to me. Um, if you've seen my unboxing, you'll know that I was pumped to receive this knife, and uh, yeah, there, there's there's a lot of reasons why this should be one of the best EDC knife offerings on the market right now. And the good news is, I'm finding out, kind of think it is. Um, this knife uses Vanex Super Clean Steel. What that means is it is insanely corrosion resistant, uh, about as corrosion resistant from what I can see and from what I hear as LC200N, which happens to also be what the liner lock in here is made of. Um, it's not only crazy corrosion resistant though, it also has really, really good edge retention, especially considering its corrosion resistance. Usually when you get a steel that's really focused in one direction, like LC200N, it's focused on being corrosion resistant. It has decent edge retention, but it's not like that's also a focus. <laughs> the focus is on corrosion resistance. So the fact that Vanex Super Clean has really, really good, like top-notch corrosion resistance. And then it also has fantastic edge retention, comparable from what some say to even steels like M390, 20CV, that kind of thing. That's really, really exciting. It's a very compelling offering at that point, right? So, so far, this thing has just been flying through everything that I throw at it. Um, I've been trying to find ways to get this knife wet. So I've been using it in the kitchen for cutting apples. I put it through a sweet potato. Um, I'll just rinse it off in the sink when I'm done. Literally, I just put it under the faucet, fold it, and put it back in my pocket. I have been trying to find a way to get this to show any sign of corrosion. One single spot of rust, anything, nothing has happened so far. Um, literally, I'll pull it out of my pocket an hour later after putting it in wet. I'll give it a quick wipe with my t-shirt and it's as good as it was when it came out of the box. There's zero sign of any corrosion on it. It's just really exciting. Uh, so I've been pumped as I've been using this knife that not only does it not corrode, but the way that this knife is from factory, it's really, really well thought out. Um, for my size hands, I have hands on the smaller end of the scale. I usually wear a medium size like work glove, uh, sometimes large, depending on the brand. This knife is perfect size for me. This, I don't know if you want to call it a choil up here, this groove for your pointer finger fits my finger perfectly. My fingers aren't exactly that thin, so that's nice. Um, I get all four fingers on it, even in a saber grip. It's awesome in reverse grip. It's awesome in hammer grip. It's awesome in a draw cut. It's ergonomically works super well for me. Um, you've probably heard me say before, I'm not usually crazy about thumb studs. They're not my favorite method of deployment. Um, I prefer holes over studs. Haha, -ha, yeah, there you go. Um, I, I think spidey holes are more fun to fidget with, play with, just the way that I like to open. I love to middle finger flick. This knife works for middle finger flicking. These thumb studs are really well thought out. They're positioned perfectly. The detent on it is just money. This knife is fun for me to play with. Even though it's not drop shutty, it's not, uh, it's different from what I normally like in a knife, but it's still a lot of fun. Um, so I really like that about it. The pocket clip has been perfection. The profile of this knife and the way that it carries because of its size, shape, weight, all of it. This is one of my favorite knives to carry currently in my possession. Probably even including all the knives that I don't still currently have. It just carries really great. The profile of it in my pocket is a lot like the bug out. It carries almost the same as a bug out in terms of like the size and the footprint of it. It's definitely a little bit heavier. It's not ultra lightweight like a bug out is. This thing isn't sub two ounces. Um, it's probably like two bug outs in weight, but oof, boy, does it carry good. It's just, it's money in the pocket. I've had it as a primary in my front right pocket where I carry my primary knife. I've had it as a secondary in my waistband, in my back pocket. Um, it just, 
it goes wherever I want to put it and it doesn't put up a fight. I love the way this thing carries. Um, the only, only issue I've had at all period with this knife so far is that the pivot worked itself a little bit loose one time. So all I had to do was pull the pivot screw out, apply a little bit of blue Loctite, like just a touch, put it back in, waited for it to dry and it's been perfect ever since. So if that's the only issue I ever encounter with a knife ever, that's a pretty good thing. Um, yeah, I just, I can't get enough of the waypoint. I am thrilled that I've been trying to get it to rust and haven't been able to. Um, like literally, like no evidence of any corrosion anywhere on it. And it's held an edge like a charm. This blade, by the way, it's a nice thin stock. Um, the stock thickness reminds me of like my TRM Neutron. Um, very thin and slicey blade. Plus it's hollow ground. So even though it's not like a tall grind, this hollow grind is done really, really well. Um, I love the way the satin finish looks, by the way. But yeah, the way it comes to an edge with that hollow grind is money. It's a really, really good edge. And then the edge they put on it from factory, crazy sharp, like really, really top notch sharp out of the box. It's just, it works so well. Um, I said this in my comparison between this and the Spidey Chef, but what made me buy this knife was the materials. This is the only production knife, to my knowledge, right now that is being made with Vanex Super Clean Steel. I know Shirogorov was using it for a little while. I think they've even stopped using it. So if you want a knife with Vanex Super Clean, a folding knife, Quiet Carry is your only option. They put it on this, they put it on the Drift, and I think they might put it on a fixed blade as well. Now, I bought this knife because it has that steel, and I'm kind of a nerd about that kind of thing. I think it's really cool to push the envelope on steels. Now, since I've had the knife and started using it, I can say with confidence, this knife, even if it came with a totally different material selection and it wasn't corrosion resistance focused, if it was just, I think I said in the video, like this knife came in M4, which is very much not corrosion resistant, but is a really cool steel. Sorry, I'm at a spot where I have to stop, so I'm just gonna catch my breath and keep talking. If this knife came in a steel that wasn't corrosion resistant, if the liner wasn't corrosion resistant, if nothing about this knife was corrosion resistance focused, I would still want to own this knife because it's a great knife even without those properties. So the fact that they've built those properties into it, it's really, really cool. I, uh, I'm, I'm stoked on this knife and I, I feel like I'm still just kind of scratching the surface on uh, how much I can get out of it because every task I've thrown at it so far, it just does everything really, really well, carries like a dream, cuts like a charm. I, I'm thrilled with it so far. So um, pretty soon I'll be doing my full review on this. I feel like I'm getting a really good taste of what this knife is made of. And uh, after I do that full review, there's a handful of guys who I know really want to try this knife out. So I'm probably going to send this around to a couple of people who want to experience it. And uh, I imagine as long as the ergos agree with them, they're probably going to love this knife too. Um, that's the one kicker with just about everything, right? Is ergos are, are independent to the user. So for me, the ergos on this knife are fantastic. Um, but everything else about this knife, I think is a little less subjective. Um, the material selection, the performance, it's just been incredible. So I'm really thrilled with this knife. I'm stoked on it. It's a, it, I, I plan on using and carrying this knife a lot for a very long time because it's so nice to have a knife that performs this well. And I just, I'm proving to myself that I don't need to worry about it. I could take this knife to the beach and not be worried about any kind of corrosion or anything. This will be my wet in the rain carry. Like I could go have a water fight with super soakers and board shorts and have this knife in my pocket and not worry about it. Not that I want to bring a knife to a super soaker fight, but Anywho, this is a really cool knife. The Quiet Carry Waypoint is legit. I'm loving just about everything about it. So there's my update. There will be a full review soon. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this style of video. Um, let me know in the comments if, if this is a, a cool way to do it. I can shoot more this way, but it's a, yeah, a different way to do it. So let me know.